Look what I got here. I took it out of his room. It is a machine. A Volkswagen Beetle Kraker. Come on guys. Just a note sit there give me a hand. This is a history time machine. It's got to work. This is from Eddie Delpino. He always uses it. Let's try it out. Transport. The Royal Transport was designed by Peregrine Osborne, Marquis of Carmarthen, 1659 to 1729. She was built by Robert Lee to act as a fast and safe method of conveying King William III, 1650 to 1702, other persons of high rank, messengers and goods, to Holland and back. A Royal Transport as the name implies. The Royal Transport was launched on the 11th of December 1695 at Chatham Dockyards, east of London. She was considered a 220-ton, 6th rate ship, carrying 18 guns. Her length was 27.4 meters, width 7.2 meters and her draft was 2.4 meters. There are reasons to believe that the Royal Transport looked very much like the Peregrine Galley, see picture below that was designed by the very same Peregrine Osborne a few years later. The Peregrine Galley was launched on the 21st of September 1700. When Peter the Great, 1672 to 1725, became Tsar, Russia had no navy of its own. Peter was determined to establish a fleet, so in 1697-98 he traveled to Holland to study new technology, especially shipbuilding. King William welcomed the opportunity to increase trade with Russia again, so he gave Peter all the assistance he could. William gave Peter a gift, a ship by the name Royal Transport. The Royal Transport was one of King William's most modern ship, with an experimental design and rig. The ship was altered and refitted for Peter and given extra golden carved decorations. In May 1698, the Royal Transport sailed via Holland to the northern port of Archangel in Russia. The ships got separated due to severe weather during the voyage. The Royal Transport had in late September reached Katagat, but encountered severe weather and current, forcing her on the 25th of September to seek shelter in the Swedish archipelago near Gothenburg. Royal Transport was firing her cannons for help. The English flag was flying in the wind. The next day, the 26th of September, her anchors broke loose and she foundered on a reef and sank. Her crew consisted of 50 men, only 24 survived. Nun das Tipno, you idiot, was is that? What came out of this wall? Stop, sacre blue, they will oh, find many times did it tell you guys. <laughs> Do not play with le bureau les légendes equipment. L